I'm here at the Eco Village waiting for an acquaintance of mine from my permaculture class. She's bringing the mayor of her hometown in Japan with her today. And he met with the mayor of Portland yesterday and the two cities are going to exchange ideas on sustainability. So I am off to meet them today. This is Pandora with Earth Village, and I'm here with a couple of guests from Japan. Could you introduce yourselves? Me? Yes. Hi, my name is Yu. I help the organization Steady Pair Project. And so, introduce. Oh, hi, this is Mayor Hosaka from the <laughs> city of the Setagaya. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, did you have some questions for me? So, uh, Pandora and Konnichiwa. こんにちは。ハロー。ハロー。ウェルカム。ウェルカム。ウェルカム。ウェルカム。ウェルカム。ウェルカム。ウェルカム。ウェルカム。ウェルカム。ウェルカム。ウェルカム。ウェルカム。
やはりかかると思うんですね。でそういったところも含めてあの分担されてるんですかそのご輸入のメンバーが。So it's little different from living in like normal apartment and you have a lot of gardens, a huge gardens and recycling and Uh, it takes a lot of time and you know maybe money somewhat. So you guys are divide, like people who live here divide um, how much work you do and they like, participate together, right? That's the question. Yeah, it's very much. Um, you would come here and participate. It wouldn't be, um, you know, you wouldn't be learning very much if you didn't participate in the projects here. Oh, we also. Uh, Every one of us tries to get to know every other person who lives here. So everybody knows each other, and that makes it a very cohesive、um, community. And we learn from each other. So there's some people who are very good at gardening, very good at recycling or composting, and we just learn from each other and share the ideas together. I thought like there's some, like, you have to participate. What's the minimum? I remember last time we talked about it. Oh, yeah, our, our minimum is actually one hour per month. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's very minimal. <laughs> so, Mina san, I know, Koko ni kite, ma kyoruk, I don't know, some garden, no work party, that toka event got in this book. So, Koni, ma, most kyoruk shinakata by wa, some, I don't know, chiska, I don't know, I just get the most so koni kyoruk. あ協力した場合に他の人からここに住んでる人から学ぶことができるであのここの人たちは他のアパートメントと違って皆さんが他の住んでる人のことをみんな知ってるのでそので皆さん同じような興味があってきてる人が多いのでそこであの互いのことを知り合って例えば私は畑のことを知らないけどすごく畑について詳しい人がいたりだとかコンポストに対して詳しい人がいたりだとかリサイクルに対して詳しい人がいたりとかで一緒に働くことでその知識を得ることもできます。で一応ここに住むにあたっては1ヶ月に1時間だけあの参加しなければいけないという決まりがあるんですけど1時間だけみたいですね。やっぱりパーティスペモーザンワンナーレイ。Yeah, oh, some the people who really like it will they participate a lot, especially the seniors that are retired. They need something to do. But、um, yeah, it's a great way to network and share ideas.、Um, It's a little safety zone in the middle of the city. Sometimes you go a couple blocks down and people aren't sharing the same ideas, and it's kind of like it can be a shock that it feels you know, so safe and secure here and so many people with similar ideas. そうですね、でもやっぱり1時間という決まり1時間すればいいんですけどやっぱりもっともっといっぱい皆さんあの参加されていて特にあのお年寄りの方でもリタイアあの退職されている方などは時間があるので特にたくさん参加されたりしていますでこれはすごくあの有効なあの方法でやっぱりネットワーク互いのことを知ったり新しい機会を得たりするのとあとはやっぱり互いのアイディアをシェアし合ったりでやっぱりなのでここに住んでる人たちはすごく。あの政府安全に感じるしすごく安全なコミュニティなんでたまに外に出て全然そういう考えを持ってない人たちとかそういうコミュニティになると逆に安全じゃない安心しないというふうにですね。Thank you。じゃあ今度。Thank you。Oh thank you。はい。Yeah thank you。You can ask questions.、Um, can I ask some questions too? Yes。Okay。Um yeah what what is it what is it like in your town Uh, as far as sustainability, are there mostly like new ideas or older ideas? Do some of those maybe sustainable ideas go, go back you know, a few generations? Or、um, are they you know, newer for like the younger generation?、Mm -hmm. so, um, 世田谷ではそのサステナビリティに関しては新しいアイディアなのかやっぱり昔からあったアイディアなのか例えば今の若い人たちにとっては逆に新しいアイディアになってしまっているのかという質問、はいえー、とサステナビリティについてはあの日本でも80年代に特に言われるようになりましたねそれではあの原子力発電やあの脱石油文明あるいはその持続可能なそれこそサステナビリティなあの環境を壊してはいけないっていう危機感からでしたが
、まあ、残念ながらあのそういう声よりも、えー、やっぱ消費文化ものをたくさん買って使ってしてるいう方がやっぱ強かったせいかあの長いことあの少数の声でしたところが今こういう時代になってくると。Okay. Okay, I'm So, I'm going to say it first. So, it was like the word sustainability is also、um, started hearing again in like 1980s. Oh, okay. So, because of the power plant things and like we have to save the environment, it's not really sustainable. We got to make the sustainable、uh, society. However, you know, in that time, consumer culture of con- consumption was like very bu- big, you know,、mm-hmm. so like it was like way stronger than. The idea of sustainability. So,、mm-hmm. in that time, people talking about sustainability was very minority. Then, yeah. Oh, okay. Tada, Ima wa, ano, mo, chikyu kankyo no ihen mo, nihon de mo, taihen, hageshi, eh, mata, ano, umi no osen, eh, nado mo, hontoni ko, kiki kan mo, tu, wakai stu, tiyo, fuye te, ima. Desu kara, mukashi kara, kangae te kita, stu, ta, ti, to, ti, to, 断絶はっていうかまだ落差はあるんですけれどもあのこれからやっぱりライフスタイルを変えていこうっていう意識を持とうとしているところですね若い人たちも。She's catching up. So, yeah. so, you know, but now, because of the global warming and like all you know,、uh, trash in the sea and like many young people's Kind of standing up, oh, this is not right, and try to change the way. So it's a little different from people who are doing all the time, doing from long time, but this is kind of like young people start changing. So they、uh, start thinking about sustainability and still in the progress, but they are trying to change their lifestyle and live to more sustainability. So, this is the あのわずか4五5 0年前の世田谷区はもう畑がすごく多い場所だったんですねでそこで行われていた、まあ、例えば堆肥を作るとかあるいはあのお野菜をあの、えー、肥料にしていくとか、えー、水を何回も循環させるとかいうことを全てやってたんですね日本でもね。っていうことをその全部やめてって都市化したんですがもう一回これを見直していこう例えばその緑の力グリーンインフラということも自然に対して、えー、最も的確な回答だということに私たちも気づき始めている、まあ、今日見てあのすごくあのその感を強くしました。So- Today,、um, so he saw the Echo Village and think about so just about maybe like 40 to 50 years ago in the city I grew up, Setagaya,、mm-hmm. um, was a, had a lot of、um, garden and farm, right?、Yeah. And we did a few m a n u r e there was a compost, also, we are using water resources just like 40 to 50 years ago.、Uh-huh. But because we tried to develop the city, we kind of quit, it's totally different. So、yeah. after seeing here, me thinking about how important to respect green and the environment. and How, um, 私が子どもの頃はトイレもあのこう汲み取ってそれは肥料にされていたしそれから生ごみはあの、えー、馬車であのこうそのくその食品のくずを集めるあの人が回ってくるんですね町をそれに出してそれは豚の餌になった、まあ、そういう時代。ほんの50年ちょっと前は日本もそうでした。So when he was you know, little, when he was young, it's like 50 years ago,、um, we did a h u m a n i a in the city.、Ah. And in the,、mm-hmm. about compost, you know, after food compost club, like there's a people、um, who's working come with, with a horse, you know, riding with horse and pick up or compost and using for the pig. ですから日本のおじいさんおばあさん特にまだ農村部ではねそういう文化もあのもっともっと残っていますですからこういったエコビレッジのような取り組みがあの農村だけではなくて都会からも始まってきたらまだこう間に合うこのリレーがねあのそんな思いも持ちました。
So however, the many elder people have experience of you know compost. They still mm -hmm. have idea of this, and also like uh, not like a big city Tokyo, but like more suburb rural area people still does those type of stuff. So if the um, people in the city kind of think about and look like doing stuff like eco village, it might be not too late. It, instead of just doing the small town or rural area, but also we can do something like this. So we can do both. Mm -hmm. We might it's not too late. Yeah, it seems like. Maybe that's the same in America where we had on the farms, you know, they had outhouses out on the roads where people could stop and make a contribution there. Um, but then as the cities started growing up, those things were not as popular, maybe even not as practical. So it seems like we're starting to go back to realize that some of the older ways were more sustainable. Right and maybe in Japan too. Although I think maybe in Japan there may be more people that remember that that are still alive than we have in America. We've forgotten a lot of those things. America今日シャッターの so today I heard about the that was parking lot, the whole garden was parking lot, yeah. was like a swimming pool and that was like a very fresh idea to do in that, you know, it's not really happening in Japan I think. So yeah, it was like a very oh, fresh okay. idea to depave and yeah. like using that. Changing. Yeah, it's happening a little bit here with City Repair is a good organization <laughs> for that. If, if you were, like, looking at what we're doing here, if you would add something that you've seen done in Japan that we could add here, what, what would that be? Do you have any ideas for us? ま、<笑> あの、ちょっとその子供のこう遊び so he just think after you ask, well, so he used the ham hammock and that was very great. And he was saying that maybe like there's a kind of like play park children can come, not just here, but like people who live in like you know, not like eco village, but just normal apartment can come and like get dirt, dirty and pray and maybe help the harvest. That might be the kind of like pray for it, that might be good. That's something we need to improve on because we have a few people come from outside to learn things, but we don't really spread it out far enough where a lot of people from outside are participating. So that's a good idea. そう、いいアイデアでこれは何個私たちが改善してこの時期ないとこだなっていうのが今外から向くんですけどそこまでやっぱり来ないらしくてもっと外のコミュニティに広げてみんなが外からこれって参加できるようにもっと大きなコミュ
what you share. アイディアを交換し合ってってことですね。そうあの昨日多分ポータンドの、うん、あの父親の方とお会いしてそれでまあこれからその交換し合ったアイディアを見ることを楽しみにしていますって言ってます。はい。Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Well, that was a nice visit. I love showing people the eco village and sustainable experiments. It was fun to see my friend Yu from the permaculture class and meet、uh, the mayor of her hometown. I liked hearing about the connection with their city and our city to exchange ideas about sustainability. So I look forward to hearing those ideas and I will try to. Follow them. We did exchange cards, so I'll be able to connect with them. And they left me with a nice little gift here.